Hello, and today I'm going to make this paper towel roll flower wall art idea that I saw on Pinterest. And all you need are paper towel roll, it's one big one, or I'm just going to make like a little one, so yeah, or show it to the paper roll. Tacky glue, scissors, and I'm going to, I don't really have paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color mine with six Sharpie. And so, yeah. And if you want to go bigger and farther, then you can, like, go to pipe cleaner and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so take this, and you're just going to bend it a little bit like this into, like, a flower shape. This is probably not the best toilet paper roll. And then you're going to just, like, let it bend kind of in the right flower shape. Like a petal teardrop, whatever you want to call it. Get your scissors, and you're going to cut it very thin, about that, th no, a little bit less, that thin. Ugh. I should have used my better scissors. And so it's going to look like that. Yeah, you might want to get like a newer paper towel roll. I just found this one in the trash. And no, I did not go trash jumping. So yeah, I'm not really going to hang this up. I might. It just depends on how it looks. It's kind of a hard roll. So now you know how to do one. I'm going to start using my better pair of scissors because these ones are really, really, really bad. So I will come back. I'm going to start using these and I'm going to finish. I'm gonna cut one more. So if you have like these kind of craft scissors, they're probably better than like any of the lowercase scissors. But they're for some, some reason have a lot of. Oh, and how I find these ideas is I just kind of search on the internet and go to images, or I look on Pinterest. Oh, yes, I do have a Pinterest. I'll put that down below. I haven't, um, but first I'm going to need to, um, approve my email because I didn't do that for some reason. And so now I'll only comment on pictures or really much anything. But I can still, like, look at stuff. So I'll do that for you guys. So that you guys can check me out. I have some pretty cool stuff. And that comes to you to make a collage. This one looks like more like a leaf. Where'd my other petal go? There. And if you need to, you can always trim it, but you can never. Just remember, the thing about art is you can always make it smaller, but you can't make it go back bigger. So if you mess up and make it too small, too thin, then you can have to start it all over. So I'm gonna try to do about five. So I'll do three more, and then I'll come back. About my hair looks ugly. Okay, so I've got about about seven these little flat thingies, and now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to. I'm using my phone, so I'm sorry for if the videos look weird. I don't have a camera. I've been trying to get one. So here's what you're going to do. Let me go to my... You're going to organize it and turn it into like a flower. So that's what I did. And you're probably going to want something in the middle to hold it together. So I'm going to use another part of the cardboard. And I'm going to cut it into like a circle and just stick... To cut it into two circles and then I'll stick them on the front and the back. So, I'll be right back after I do that. On my little circle type thingy, now I'm going to just kind of arrange the flowers. You're going to take your tacky glue. I've actually never done this DIY, so if I mess up, oh well. There's probably plenty more YouTube videos on how to do this. So, you're going to take one, one, I should probably listen to my own directions. <laughs> and you're going to kind of just put a dot, not on the tip, just like kind of on the side. Just gonna spread it out like that. I'm using this tacky glue, the original tacky glue by Aline. Makes it sound like a beauty product. <laughs> and you're gonna take it and you're gonna take your other one and you're just gonna stick them together. I find that tacky glue the best. I even made myself a phone case. Um, once I get another plain white phone case, you can get a 99 cent phone case, white plain phone case at 
um, Radio Shack. That's where I got this one. And then I just had jewels that I found when I was cleaning my room. And But before that, I painted it. And I'll get put, probably put a DIY up once I get another phone case. So, yeah, and I'm going to do a pink one, but I'm just going to make it plain. Or I might draw on it. I don't know. <laughs> that. And then you're just going to do that for all of them, however you wanted it. So, I'll make, I'll just keep the video on while I do this. Yeah, so, and um, you'll probably see another video up after this one. And that'll be... Um, I honestly don't know. I'm gonna have to look for more DIYs. I just saw this one. I've seen this one on the internet for a while now. And I just thought, that'd be cool, but I don't really like making stuff out of trash. But it looks pretty cute, so I'll do that. And so now for the last flower petal, like if you're, if you're making just a single one like me, you're gonna do on both sides, like a puzzle. Both sides. And you're going to just stick it in there. So mine ended up looking like this. My room's Hawaiian, so I tried to make a Hawaiian flower. I just looked up an image. Found it. And if you want, you could also, um, if, you, if you're if you really gentle, but if you made one a little bit more sturdy, you can use it as a stencil and trace it. So yeah, right now I'm going to um, put a little thing in the middle, just to kind of set it there. And if and you can also like um, maybe use it like as a decoration or put it on like a present. And I don't know, <laughs> but it's made for wall. And you all you really need is a couple nails, and you just kind of set them all in however you want. Just make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. And so now I stuck my little dot in. It's not really glued on very well. And. Oh. Taking the cap off would probably help. Next thing I'm, next video is probably going to be more of like a nerdy type thing. I'm going to look up on Pinterest nerds and then I'm going to do something. I might do my favorite YouTubers. I'm probably going to post like a couple videos today because I'm bored. So yeah, it's going to look like that. Oh, and that's a blanket, not a dead body. Just putting that out there. <laughs> okay, so getting my little art case. Or keep everything. And I'm going to pull out a... Oh, that looks I have a make your own marker kit. So I'm going to color mine with markers. That'll be my next video. I'll do a um, my make your own marker thing from Crayola. It's probably only like 20 bucks. I'll look it up. It's a whole kit. You can make your own colors. It has dye, so I'm going to put down, like, um, paper. And so, yeah. So I'm going to color that, and I'll be right back. Ugh, I'm about to turn the bathroom before it's too not too loud. Okay, so it's going to look like that. And you have to let it dry, because tacky glue doesn't dry it right away. So, yeah. That's my hair stuff, too. And so, yeah, it's going to look like that. And yeah, I'll put up another video. Ask me, please, just please ask me questions. If you watch this video, so I know you're not just a ghost or it's not just YouTube watching my videos. That sounded weird. Um, just kind of just comment down below. Ask me a question on Twitter. Check out my Instagram. Check out my iFunny. It's an awesome app. I'm, I think I'd, I'm going to do a review on it. Um, probably Probably tomorrow. And I'm going to, yeah. So, 
yeah. Yeah. So yeah, everything's gonna be in the description. And I've been seeing a lot of views on the videos, which is surprising. Because they're not actually that good. <laughs> Putting myself down. I'm my own bully. So yeah, just like kind of put a link. Not a li I'll put a link in the description for my um, Pinterest. And I'll put a link in for uh, where you can buy the marker maker. And where you can just get all your stuff. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So make your own flower DIY. So please just ask me a question in Twitter or on the comments because I need something to do. <laughs> yeah, so bye.